2018 Audi S7 review. The 2018 Audi S7 provides an alluring blend of performance, style and practicality. If you scan Ocon's number of Audi's A7, you'll remember that needs more power just isn't among them. Far from it, the truth is, since the car's strong V6 engine allows it to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in a very rapid 4.8 seconds. And yet not a soul ever hated adding a twin turbo V8 with 450 horsepower with a car, that is exactly what the 2018 Audi S7 will give you. Quite simply, commemorate this gorgeous yet practical hatchback style sedan a lot more lustworthy. Besides performance, practicality and wonder, the S7 supplies the usual Audi virtue of an stylish and impeccably crafted cabin. It also comes set with features. And although Audi's latest tech isn't available, the previous generation MMI interface remains to be plenty user-friendly and you still get standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The S7 does are afflicted by reduced rear headroom because sleek roof line, as well as the back only has two seats. If that's problems, you could invariably consider the nearly mechanically identical Audi S6 this costs much less. However, then would certainly be giving up the quintessential S7 style. What's new? The 2018 Audi S7 is actually unchanged. Fears little reason to take into account the prestige trim level if you do not yearn to the Bang and Olufs and subwoofer. Otherwise, just go while using standard premium plus. It comes with all you could could otherwise need or desire. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Audi S7 is really a mid-size high performance Ford or which has a hatchback body style Audi dubs a sport back. Unlike the A7, which comes inside a five-passenger configuration, the S7 could only be had that has a pair of individual rear sport seats. There are two trim levels, Premium Plus and Prestige, because both versions come that has a turbocharged 4.0-litre V8, great for 450 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. A7 speed. Dual clutch automatic transmission and all wheel drive are standard. The premium plus trim comes standard with 19 inch wheels, full LED exterior lighting, an adaptive air suspension, a sunroof, an electricity liftgate, parking sensors, a rear view camera, a blind spot monitoring system, heated auto dimming mirrors, automatic wipers, and keyless ignition and entry. Inside, you have standard Ford Zone climate control, power adjustable front seats with heating, driver seat memory settings, diamond stitched leather upholstery, an energy adjustable tire, a head up display and Audi's MMI electronics interface 8 inch display, knob controller, touchpad. Also available, a navigation system, voice controls, Bluetooth, Audi Connect, two USB ports, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, plus a 14-speaker Bose surround sound audio system which has a CD player, satellite radio, HD radio as well as a media player interface. The Prestige gains 20-inch wheels, high-performance summer tires, LED cabin lighting and soft closing doors. On either trim, an available driver assistance package adds adaptive cruise control, a forward collision warning and automatic foot brake pre-sense plus, lane departure warning and intervention, and automatic high beams. The S Sport package adds upgraded steering, a hobby rear differential and sport exhaust. The comfort seating package supplants the common diamond stitched sport seats for ventilated front seats with massage and memory settings for both seats. The cold weather package adds heated rear seats as well as a heated controls. The 20-inch black optic package gets you 20-inch dark colored wheels and high gloss black exterior trim. Rear side airbags undoubtedly are a standalone option. 
optional for your prestige only are 21 inch wheels, a night vision assist system as well as the Bang & Olufsen audio system upgrade. Trim tested. There are normally multiple versions of every vehicle, although a few aspects are shared. The S within this review depend on our full test from the 2016 Audi S7 Turbo 4.0 litres V8, 7-speed dual-clutch automatic, AWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the actual S7 has gotten only minor changes. Our findings remain broadly applicable to the year's S7. Roll while executing it. It also handles curves far better than something this massive should. Acceleration. Sneaky fast. The 450 horsepower 4.0 liter V8 builds power so easily you barely see the law breaking speed you've developed, with 60 miles per hour arriving in a mere 4.2 seconds. The 7 speed automatic is ultra quick, smart and smooth shifting. Braking. Pedal travel was more than expected during testing and normal driving, which made the brakes feel less powerful compared to they are. Stopped from 60 miles per hour in 110 feet with zero fade, decent however, not class leading. Easy to modulate out and about. Steering. Feedback might be better in most steering modes. We appreciated the excess heft and exceedingly quick turn-in of dynamic mode, however, some may feel it's an excessive amount of handling. Despite its length and weight, the S7 is often a fantastic handler. Its size managed to make it difficult to place precisely during our slalom and sure that you on super tight back roads, yet it's controllable, fun as well as the all-wheel drive puts the ability down sublimely. Drivability. Even with so much power and speed on tap, the S7 is usually driven such as an everyday car. The gas pedal is supple, the transmission doesn't hunt at low speeds, and also the suspension doesn't beat you up. Comfort. All the experience with all the comfort. The front seats are superb, as well as the ride is surprisingly compliant for something this serious. The cabin is hushed as well as the engine never gets obnoxious, even at full throttle. Tall gearing means it's running with a low 1950 revolutions per minute at 70 miles per hour seat comfort. Our test car came with all the comfort seating package, which trades the normal seats extra burst trying to cool down the and massage. Hours fly by in comfort. The is also less bolstering than while using standard rear sport seats, that produces less sense considering that there are only two. Ride Comfort The ride is really soft, even while using adaptive suspension in comfort. There is always a certain amount of stiffness, and pavement triples cause some cabin jiggling, but it is never harsh and handles big bumps impressively. The dynamic setting is stiff. Noise and vibration. Considering the S7S sportiness, the cabin is impressively quiet, with little wind noise, zero suspension crashing, plus the engine stays pretty muted even at full throttle. Only the performance tires get thumpy over road imperfections. Interior. The S7S interior is really a nice, impeccably crafted place. It's just that there are less of it compared with traditionally designed sedans. Like the Mercedes CLS and BMW Grand Coupe, the S7 has compromised rear headroom because coupe-like styling. Utility While the S7 most likely are not as friendly for people because the Audi S6 as well as other regular sedans, it betters them when carrying stuff. The Deep Highly accessible cargo area is a bit more spacious and versatile compared to what others offer. Small item storage. Bins within the doors, forward on the shifter and underneath the center armrest provide decent space for phones along with objects. 
cupholders are saved to the small side. Cargo space. The hatchback trunk 24.5 cubic feet is extremely accessible and super deep, which is the key differentiator between S7 and also other luxury sedans. It is often a tad narrow, though, and count on that hatchback permitting bigger, bulkier items. Technology. The S7 won't yet offer Audi's latest MMI interface, such as virtual cockpit HAL digital gauge display. That's okay, though, at as impressive as that method is, the older version inside the A7 is featureic as well as simple to use.